morning. Welcome to the Bulldog News on the Sick News Network. It is Wednesday, May the 6th. I hope everyone's having a fabulous day. And now let's get off to the weather. Hello and welcome to the weather. Today it'll be sunny with a high of 66 and a low of 42. Throughout the week, the highs will be in the lower to mid 60s and the lows will be in the mid 40s with, with light rain. For the weekend, the highs in the mid 60s and the lows will be in the low 40s with sunshine that's all for the weather hello and welcome to your local news i'm lorelei classrooms and locker have been cleaned out personal items will be labeled and ready for pickup you may start picking them up may 7th k through 8th parking lot park there items will be brought to you at the front entrance staff will be available to assist you from 8 to 3 p.m thursday may 7th or 14th do not forget to turn your Chromebooks then. Summer school will be June 4th through June 24th at 8 to 3 p.m. Free breakfast and lunch will be provided and K through 8th will be able to go to summer school as of now. Contact the office to be enrolled. Be completing your assignments and get them turned in. Credit will be given to all work that is turned in. Check grades at Parent Portal. If you need any help logging in, call 417-779-479. It's time to register for kindergarten. Enrollment packets can be picked up at the K-8 through building. Free meal pickup is from 10 to 11. It will continue Friday, May 15th for students 2 through 18. If delivery is needed, call the office between 8 to 11. That's all for your local news. Hey guys, Thursday's menu for breakfast is cereal and fruit, lunch, peanut butter and jelly with yogurt, Carrots and ranch. Hello and welcome to birthdays. Today we have a lo one local birthday, which is Brant Fosmo. Brant Fosmo was a bus driver. We would also like to wish a happy birthday tomorrow to Loretta Williams. Loretta Williams will be ce celebrating her fifth birthday. She is the daughter of the art teacher in the high school, and she will be starting kindergarten this fall. And that's all for your birthdays. All right. Today's daily video question was asked to the students while we were still basically under quarantine. And what I wanted to know was what did they miss most um, while they were being quarantined? And once the quarantine was lifted, did they think that things would go back to the way they were before quarantine and they would get to do the things that they had been missing? Since the coronavirus started, I haven't really gotten to talk to any of my friends. You know, like, I can text with them and stuff, but, I mean, some of my friends, I don't have their numbers, and it's just better to talk to them in person because, like, you get more of a connection. And, um, I I feel like it, it will be back in my life the way it once was because, I mean, next year I'll just be in class with them again, so, I mean... It's not a huge difference. It's just, it's kind of rough at the moment just because I don't really get to interact very much with anyone, like, in my age group, which kind of sucks. But that's pretty much the thing that I miss the most. I still have fun experiences, fun new experiences uh, in this quarantine, in this change and stuff. Um... But what I don't have is me being able to share it with my friends and them being here while I learn new things and do new things and um, they can't share their experience with me. And I do believe that that will one day come back and it'll be semi-normal, but I still miss it and I wish I had it right now. So. And now for your national day. Today is Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is a holiday that celebrates the military victory over Napoleon in Mexico. And that's all for your national day. All right, that's all we've got for you today. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the week. Just two days left. And don't forget, we're not just the news, but we're the news with a Z. Have a great day. What's that? Sup, sup, man, and women, we're going to be doing another thing about the random fact. I, I can't believe what I was going to say. Anyways, our first one, or second, or whatever, is losers. Did you know they are about, there are about 3,800 lizard species found 
all around the globe. Man, that's a lot of lizards. I, I really bet they're being very sad right now because we're inside. And, and did you know the lizards can sh uh, shed their tails to run from predators? Yeah, they can they can rip their skin out and like, yeah, eat that. I, I bet you can't. <coughs> that's, that's all for your random fact. Have a funny day.